is assured by our Honorable Line Minister, we will be providing updates when developments come to end. I would also like to reiterate that this was an isolated incident and that the security and criminal landscape is manageable and that we are committed to keeping our communities safe. An update on the investigation, the suspect is now admitted at the St. Giles Hospital and is undergoing psychiatric assessment and treatment. I can confirm that the suspect does have a history of mental illness and I therefore plead with members of the public to stop sharing his photo and vilifying him on social media. Please allow the investigation to take its course as necessary and appropriate charges will be determined upon the completion of the investigation. After he is medically cleared, he will be brought back into police custody. I also want to address concerns raised about police actions and from the police, from the public perceptions, officers' inability to quickly defuse yesterday's situation. As I had stated, different situations require different responses. I want to reassure the public that officers have been reminded that the responses adopted must be aligned to best policing practices. Divisional police commanders in the five policing divisions have been tasked to relook and review their respective response units and that all officers under their command are to undergo refresher training. As I stated, it was an isolated incident. However, it has brought to light the need to quickly review our current response practices as an attack on any policing institution is an attack on security. I will now take a few questions, and if there are issues apart from the Totongo incident, I will be happy to accommodate them following this press conference. Minawaliu.